Hi, my name is Darshan and I'm an online tutor of math and physics. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about multiple choice questions of AP pre-calculus sample exam issued by College Board. So this is on trigonometry. Let's read this one out. The figure shows the graph of a sinusoidal function G. So what are the values of the P rate and the amplitude of G? Amplitude is really easy to find because first we need to find the midline. And midline is nothing but the middle value of the maximum and minimum. So the maximum value is 3. The minimum value is obviously negative 3. So its middle value will be 0, which is right over here. And from the middle value, whatever it goes to the top or whatever it goes to the bottom, that number is the amplitude. So from middle, it goes three units up because this is three. So the amplitude is three, which means that these two are incorrect. The last two are ruled out. And the time period is the time which is taken for one complete cycle. Now you can start the cycle from anywhere which you like, uh, but make sure that obviously you complete at the same point. For example, let's say I start from here. So my one cycle will look like uh, goes here, oops, goes here, down, 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 and this. Because after 9, it will again start repeating itself. So that can be my cycle. So what is the what is the value of x here? You can clearly see that it starts from 1 and it ends at 9. So it's 9 minus 1, which is 8 units. It's a time period. Or another way to find the time period would be, let's say you start from the top. You don't want to start from the bottom. You start from the top. So you start from the top, goes down, and then goes uh, go up, and you stop right there. So once again, you have uh, over here is 3, and over here it's 11. 11 minus 3 is once again 9. So it doesn't really, uh, 11 minus 3 is 8. So once again, it doesn't really matter how you do that. Uh, you will keep on getting the same answer. It doesn't matter from, <coughs> excuse me, from where you start and uh, <coughs> where you end, provided you complete that one complete cycle. Uh, so that's going to be equal to uh, 8 and the amplitude is 3. So the correct choice is option B. Correct. It is B. All right.